practice the Jazz 3 warm up across the floor and combination. You're going to see that this class moves very quickly because these are third year students. We're going to still start just the same as we did in Jazz 1 with a deep breath in and our arms going to a V. Here we go. Let's take a deep breath, arms to a V, and take it down. Let's do it again. Now on these breaths, we want to really reach our energy in five directions. Out of the head, out of the fingers, fingers, and out of the feet, into the floor. Here we go. Let's take the left leg back. L arm for one, two, three. Other side for four. You've got to really reach energy out of your hands. Side center side. Let's make a big circle, and the pelvis stays straight up and down. We don't want to stick it out. Five. Six. This reach up comes through the ribs for four, two, three. Now we're going to take a body wave. Five, six, rolling up. Same thing again. One, two, three. Big reach out to the side. Five, six. Starting again, left foot back for one, two. Other side for four. Really take this opportunity to reach energy out of your arms. And the pelvis stays. We don't want to stick it out in the back. Five, six, here's a variation. We're up for four, one, two. We hold count number four, come down body weight. And up the other side. Left side goes one, two, three. We hold it right here. Those were our opening stretches, sequence one. Here's sequence two. Lateral stretches and flat. Now we take it from the glute. We tuck under the glute two times. Come up to a diagonal. And around flat back to lateral one circle. Good, let's try the other side. We're going on our lateral, then our transverse, using the glute to tuck under, not the back. Here we go, transverse stretch. We're gonna twist it and come around to the side, all the way around, hold it here. We're going to play in two counts, here we go. Now hit a very flat back, you've gotta make sure. And nice long neck. Roll up. The girls will do it again. I want to point out that the arms stay even with the armpits. Next time I'm going to have Sarah do it incorrectly so you can see the wrong way to do it would be to lift your arms way up like this and down. And now everybody will do one more correctly. Here we go. One, two, and the arms stay down. Very nice. Good. Now let's go for our jazz lunges. We go over and jazz lunge. On these jazz lunges, you've got to really press the ribs back and extend your arms. The bottom leg turns in, and slowly, we go flat back jazz line, slowly, flat back, left side jazz line, push back. Later on, we can do these faster, but right now, we're really looking for a nice flat back and a good jazz line. One more, and we'll take a deep breath in to center ourselves, deep breath in, Legs are turned out. The next thing we're going to work on is the glutes for our layout. We're going to plie, plie down. Now turn one leg in. Look at this glute, tuck it under four, three, two. Now hold your tuck, a little layout, and come around. Leg and arm turn out, and circle. Very, very good. Plie, turn this in. Tuck under four times four, three, now we want to hold that tuck. Lift back, here's the beginning of our layout. Take it around, good. Reaching up, four counts. Reach up, we're going on with a combination that takes us into that contraction of the glute. Now two ribs, flat back, all the way down. Here's our leg stretch, hold it. Here's our first long stretch. In the middle, hold it. And roll up four, very nice counts. Four, three, two, other side. Reach one, two. We're gonna take it under, and it's almost like a layout contraction. Good, all the way down, we're gonna hold it. This is the first time we've come down here. We wanna hold our stretches. And to the middle, holding. Drop your head all the way, roll up in four counts. Four, three, two, let's take a deep breath in and turn out. Now in the other tape, my next sequence is went to the floor. But the more advanced your students get, or my students get, I like to move the center floor technique closer to the beginning of the warm up. Here we go, ready for plies. One, two, reaching. We're going to releve up, 
into fifth on it. Now right left arm, this is really your rib and your profile. Here's where you could add your grand plie. Over pour de bras, two counts. One, two plie. Both legs stretch, nice roll up. Bring your arms to fifth on out. We're going to add a combre, open. Back to center. And here's our ankle exercise. Plie, plie, releve. Push up, one more. Releve, plie. Heels down, into first. This time we're going to start our dummies with the left arm. You'll see when we get there. Three, all the way up. Five, six. Now we take the left arm for the wrist. One. Here's where you could do a grand. We're just going to do a demi plie. And open over in two counts. One, two, demi plie. Drop your head all the way. And roll it up. We're going to change the port de bras. You still come up, but your hands come straight to the front. And lift. And open. Ready to plie. Work on those ankles. You've got to keep the tummy so pressed in for this part. Five, six. Now tone you to the back, to the back, to the side, and to the front. Now we're in fourth position. Everybody can check their tummy pressed in. Ready for fourth position. One, two. We're taking the arms also to fourth. Five, six. Right, left, rip. It's more than an arm. It's a rip. Here's where you could do a grand. We're just going to do a dummy. And we go toward the mirror. Watch this. We close our arms. We open. We close. We're down. Very nice, roll up. To the back, same thing. We close, we open, we close. We're down. And the ankle exercise, keep that tummy compressed. Shoulders down, nice long neck. Five, six, seven. The back leg goes to the back, to the side, to the front, and fourth. And we check ourselves out, make sure everything's very pulled up. Here we go for fourth. One, two. Three, everything lifts up to fourth position, high. Good, here comes your left rib. It's not just your arm, it's your rib. Here's where you could do a grunt. We're just going to do a demi. And we close it up. Close, open, close. Trying not to move your hips. And go to the back. So we want to keep the hips stable all the time. Rolling up. And the ankle exercise. You got your weight right in the middle. And five. That tummy lifting, seven. Go back, side, front, into fifth position. Now this is different. It's a short little sequence. We come up, and we're going to put a bra around in seven counts. One, down on two. Three, up on four. Back leg into tondu, and the other side. One, so we've added. A grand round de jean. Lifting up and press. Let's take seven counts. Seven, two, three, up on four, five, six, close first. And we're ready for our next exercise, which is tone dues. Now in our tone dues exercise, we're going to be coming from first position. Let's take the arms up. We're going to take all classical arms. We're going to go out and flex and point and in. One tone do with plie, one tone do regular. Here we go. Let's watch our feet. Five, six, ready to go. Out and flex and point. Now you add a plie to this one, but you've still got to be so lifted and regular. You've got to keep that neck so long. Flex, point. The whole body is reaching as that leg goes out and regular. Here's our elongé. Out and flex and point. Now even though you're going down, your body goes up. Good. Let's do it on quad. That means we're going to go to the side. Two, three. Now lift up as you go down. Very nice. Let's do the other leg. You're going one. Now the whole trick to this exercise is pulling your energy up during the plie and keeping this thigh very, very steady. Three, pull your energy up. Five, six, seven, to the back. Elongé, pull that tummy up. Three, Four, take it out. Five, six, we're going to do one more to the side. And one, flex, point, pull up. Five, six, now just to relax, we're going to take a deep breath in, all the way up, 
and we're going to start our degages. Now on degages, you've got to really think of your foot. Foot, foot, foot. Every time, like striking a match. And it comes in on the count. We're going here, we're going to go three degages, and we'll switch sides. Here we go, five, six, one, two, three. Go, one, two, three. One, two, three. Stay lifted in your elbow plie the other side. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Stay lifted, stay right here. Let's take a deep breath in. Lifting up and open. Lifting to parallel. Here comes our balances. We're in coupe. We're in passe. We lift this bono and toe ball heel. Let's do it again. We're in coupe. Here's our position that we want for our pirouettes. Lift. Now you'd like to do that way, 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 way many more times. But for the sake of time, we're just going to go to the side. We have to always think of compressing the abdominals. Here we go. One. To the middle. And lift. Come down toe ball heel. The other side. One. Two. Again, you do this many more times. And we're going to dip to take a rest. Dip and come up. We're going to arch back. Arch back and come up. Over and flat back. One. This is our little rest. And we roll up. Five, six, seven, and eight. We're ready to continue with our attitudes. So we're coming up for two counts to passe. One, two, attitude front. Press that knee back, push down in the hip. Now we're going to shift and press to an arabesque. Good. Pick everything back up, tuck that hip under, coming around, and lift. One dip. Let's do the other side. Here we go. You're up on one, two, to the front. Bring it in, and your side. Bring it in. Come around the back. Now stretch everything long. Two, very nice. Lift up, you've got to get that hip under. And then it comes around. Releve up, and a dip. Good. This is the part that I was telling you about. I'll go that far. Then I want their legs to have a little bit more stretch before we continue on with the technique. So this is uh, the time in the class where I will go down to the floor and start my lunges. Let's come up through the center, tone two. We've got our foot out, but we're gonna take it to the back and reach. Now from our heel to the top of our head is making one line, so we have to pull forward and pull our tummies in and our ribs in too. Now without moving anything else, we're just gonna twist and open the upper back and look behind us. Nice. This is a pinwheel. Here we go, two counts, a palm off. And two. Again, we're coming up to fifth on O. And we're going to arch back by pushing into our front leg. We come back to our diagonal. Now we come all the way down. We want to be turned out now in jazz three in this front leg. Also, the knee never comes in front of the toe. Always behind the heel. Let's take one stretch up. Now this is a little harder. We're gonna stretch to the back. You've gotta balance this arm back. And it really opens that back so at. Good. Coming back. You know this stretch. We're going to flex back and hold it. Pulling our tummies in. And poke your back knee in. Sitting with one leg on top. Take a deep breath in. This is going to really stretch out the hips. Take it over and relax. Now remember, we're going forward. We never think down. We think forward. And then when we're as forward as we can be, we go down. You're going to really feel this in the glute of the leg that's crossed on top. To come up, we reach out and up. Here comes our double OP. We're trying not to lean backwards. From here, we flex and point eight times, eight, seven. Working that foot, keeping the leg very straight. Here comes the hard part. Reach all your energy out of your foot so you're reaching energy straight out like you're zapping it out of your toe. Then you can let go. Very good. Bring it back on top. And face the back. Now in this stretch, we want to make sure that this hand goes all the way to the back. And you're looking to the back too. 
here we go. Let's take it around. So you put your hands down and roll up. Now, so convenient the way our legs are because we can lunge to the other side. Keeping your tummy up. You want this line pulled up right in here. Nothing should be sticking out. And open. We need energy to come out of that back arm. This arm has to pull. And the heel reaches toward the floor. And change one. Two, keep that tummy in. One, two. Arms come to fifth on O right here. Now push into your front leg as you do your layout. And come all the way to your flat back. Take it down. Remember, in Jazz 3, we're trying to keep this leg turned out. Now, girls, let's scoot back a little. Just take that leg a little bit more. Good, so that your knee is behind your heel. That's much harder. And that back heel is pushing toward the floor, too. Here we go. Let's take our side stretch up. This one's not so hard. We've been practicing this in Jazz 1 and 2. This one's a little harder. And it really opens up the psoas and the back leg. Let's bring it down and flex back. Remember, we talked about this in Jazz 2. We want to always make sure the hips are squared off in this stretch. Bring your back knee in and sit with one leg crossed on top of the other. Whew, this is a hard stretch. Let's take a deep breath in. Now you're just going to crease your hip sockets, keep your belly button open, reach forward. Ooh, we hold it here until it it just gives a little bit. You've got to hold these stretches. They say you should hold your stretches a minimum of 30 seconds before the muscle spindle will even let go. Let's take a deep breath in and take it over. Remember, we're reaching forward, never down. We think forward. And then when we're all the way forward, we can go down. Reaching out and up. Of course, you'd hold it longer than that. And here we go for our double okay. We're trying to stay on our sit bones, flex and point, and turn out. Flex and point. So we're trying to keep our turn out. Five, six. Now pull energy out of that toe. We've been talking about extension. Here's your chance to extend that energy. Pull it in. And face the back. All the way back. We don't want to cheat by only going to the side. We want it all the way back. And we're ready for our floor stretch. So let's come looking front. We're going to take a deep breath in and open. Now, girls, you just stay right there. I'm going to talk about the port bra for a minute. In Jazz 2, we use this port bra. One, two, three. But in Jazz 3, we reverse it. Okay, girls, join in. Here we go. And we'll go slowly. Two, three, and then we reverse it. Now, when we're sitting here, we're not just thinking about our arms. We've got our feet pointed. We've got our tummies up. We've got the longest of necks. Our shoulders are pressed down. Good, now we're gonna add a flex and point with that. Flex and point. Flex, reverse the arms and flex, point. Flex, we'll do it again for you. And flex, point. We're ready to reverse the arms. This is our last one. Then we're going to go to our jackknife. Here we go, jackknife. Now in this jackknife position, we've got the longest of legs and feet and the longest backs and necks. Our belly buttons are open right here. We're not squishing them shut. We're reaching energy out of the top of our heads and our shoulders are down. Then we reach forward, forward. We keep going forward, forward. Hands go way past your feet and you drop your head. Now the girls are all going to drop their heads and reach even in their imaginations. If that's the only place it's happening, that's okay. They need to see their head almost touching their feet. Now let's flex your feet, and if you can, you get the, the heel off the floor a tiny bit, and reach your head towards your toes, and in your mind, you see them almost touching. Let's point your toes, reach out and up, and open your palm brain. Both knees in, and we're going to go to our side stretch. Now we've done this stretch before, we want to make sure we always have both sit bones on the ground, and we initiate from the rib cage. Here we go, we're coming over, one, two, three. Now reach out to the side, reaching out of the top of your head, two. We drop the arm, and we're going to aim our chest toward the ceiling, and drop it back down and come around. Now pull that toe. As you go away from it, you're pulling it so hard. It's an oppositional pull. Now bring everything around on top of that leg. This 
is a wonderful stretch, especially for back here, kind of behind your kidneys. Here we go, we're gonna arch up. Now keeping that extended leg turned out, and the arm goes almost all the way to your leg. And coming back around, good. Keeping that leg turned out, reach out and up. And we're ready for the other side. Here we go, first it's your ribs, then it's your arm. Take it all the way side, drop it down. Chest goes to the ceiling, keeping your leg turned out now. Let's take it around. Now this leg, the one that's extended, you've got to reach so hard, it's an oppositional pull. Reach that leg so hard. Good, and you reach to the side. Keep your belly button open as much as you can. And drop. This is a very, very hard area to stretch. We're so lucky when we find a stretch that will do it for us. And arching up. Now the arm that's looping has to almost touch your leg. It comes that far around. And around. Good, let's reach out and up. Both knees in, both legs out. We're ready for our second stretches. Now, we have flexed and pointed our feet before, but now we're gonna flex and point our knees and feet. Flex, you gotta pull your toes up, sitting way high. And now we're going to add that quarter bra that reverses itself. Here we go, and flex and point. Keep your tummy up now, and flex and point. Keeping your tummy so lifted. Flex and point. Let's just do one more. Five, six, seven. Reach to the side with the ribs. Reach, reach for two, and reach for two. Now take your elbow one and your profile. Profile and reach, keeping the tummy up. Now hold this one. Take it all the way over. Two, three. Take it to the middle. You just walk it slowly to the middle and hold it there. Don't let your legs turn in. Rolling it up slowly. Good. Now let's take the ribs to the side. We're taking the ribs to the other side. The other side. Now add your profile. Profile. Don't let yourself lean in front of your legs. You gotta keep that back up, let's stay here, reach it out. Good, nice long neck, and take it to the front. Reaching to the front. Remember, we never think down, we think out. And reaching those arms out. Slowly coming up, two, three, four, good. We're gonna take the floor behind us and then let ourselves relax in. And we're ready for some stretches on our back, but first, we're going to do everybody's favorite, abs. Here we go, let's come on down. Remember on abs, you have to have enough room under here for an apple or an orange or your fist. Both hands behind. Good, now look straight up to the ceiling. Here we go, straight up, slow count. We're up, one, two, three. Now teachers, this can be so tedious, but you wanna make sure you really do a lot. Usually in my class, I do at least a hundred. Even for the kids, they can work their way up and by just three, they should be doing their hundred. Now let's hold it on the top. Before, we have lifted our knee and gone to the side. This time we're going to really make sure we're in a nice attitude. So come on up to your attitude. You should think that your toe is over your belly button. Good, and take that same arm out. Here we go, lifting one. Good, so we're working on our beautiful attitudes. And we've got enough room under our chins. Let's take the other side. Now really think about that attitude. The toe is over your belly button and your foot is so lovely, it's not sickled at all. Nice, and we stop. Let's put everything down. Of course you do far, far, far more than that. We're going to stretch out the back of our legs or our hamstrings by coming into attitude with one leg, holding our attitude, and then we stretch it long. Now remember, right and correct is always better than height and flashy. So let me show you how you could do this wrong. You could want your legs really high and so you pick up your hips, and that would be incorrect. We never wanna do that. Both hips are on the floor, and we're just creasing the hip socket. Now we're going to flex our foot and plie. And look at this line here. You see the line from here to here? We're going to try to keep that line as we stretch and 
one point. And that gives us just a little bit more. Now, the next exercise we're doing, we're taking our leg and going down and in and out and up for Bontma. Five, six, here we go. We're going down and in. Down, in, brush out, Bontma. Now remember to keep those hips on the floor. The girls are going to do it correctly, but I'm going to do it wrong for you. Here I go. And you'll see it too. All right, now hold your leg right there and extend it down. Extending, 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 pull that toe. And knee comes up. Let's do the other side. We're going to start with an attitude and stretch it. It doesn't have to go very diagonally at first. We're going to work on it and hold it. Now flex. And we want to hold this line. You're going to want to hold it longer than us. And then we point our foot and stretch our leg. You can do that at least four times. And it really helped the extension. Down and in. Here we go. Down and in. Let's keep our backs flat on the floor. You never want to see a little tunnel under your waist. Nice long foot, nice long leg. One more, and we're going to hold it up there. Holding it up there. Pull energy out of your toe. Here we go. Take it down. Eight, seven, six. We're pulling, pulling energy out of our toes. Good. Both knees up. And rolling up. Sitting so tall right on the sit bones. And we'll face the side. Now our floor work is not going to be complete until we get our push-ups in. We've been doing girls push-ups up to this point. But now we're going to start to practice the body position for boys push-ups or straight leg push-ups. So here we go. We just want to come to our position. Now the girls will stay here. And I'll go to Sarah and I'm going to ask her to do it wrong. Here's how you can do it wrong. You can lift your hips too much. You can drop your head. That would be wrong. The other way is you can lift your head. You can sink your back in and drop your hips too much. We don't want to do that either. We want to be so nice and straight. See how perfectly straight Celeste is? Pick your head up just a tiny bit, Celeste. There we go. Now we want to really practice this position. And if you do it after your abdominals, you'll really feel abdominal work here. I like the girls to hold it for at least 30 seconds. Now then, we don't have to do a full push-up. We're just going to think of doing a plie with our elbows. Here we go, just as much as you can. One and two. If you can't do a full push-up, that's fine. But at least we're getting started and we're doing the plies with our elbows. And we're keeping our wonderful form. Hold it there. Let's take it back to a little ball. That was excellent, girls. Now, like I said, that involved an awful lot of abdominal work, too. So after our abs and our push-ups, we want to make sure we stretch out the abdominals. So we're going to go back out to our push-up position. This is a really hard exercise. We're just going to come down in four counts. So we come one, two, all the way down. And put our elbows on the floor. We're coming up to a modified cobra. That's what this position is called. We're coming up to modify Cobra to stretch out our abdominals. You want to keep your shoulders down and your head up. And when your kids get better and a little bit more stretch, we can go to the full Cobra. Here we go. In a full Cobra, you want to make sure that your ears are not touching your shoulders. Your shoulders have to be far, far away from your ears. And we hold this at least 30 seconds, and then we make a little ball. Toes tucking under, holding it here in parallel. Now let's review what it's like to do a really nice roll up. We'll watch the left. Now remember, we're going to roll up from the bottom of the spine to the top of the head. Eight counts. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, slowly four, three. Then the shoulders, then the head. Excellent. Let's watch the other girls roll up. Five, six, ready to go. One, two, you're only halfway up on four, five, six, shoulders and head. Perfect. Let's face front. Now remember I said I was going to continue on with my technique after we were a little bit more stretched out. So now what we're going to do is our double pace. And we're going to do them the same way we did our attitudes. Step, double back, back, five, six, ready, and step, double. Step, double. 
Good, we want to keep our back up. Now double low to the side. Step, double low. We push down on our standing leg. We're going to bottom on to the front. Here we go. Step, bottom on. Very straight back. Nice long neck. Straight bottom leg. To the side. Keep those arms lifted and pointed foot. Five, six, and in. In first. And we're ready to go across the floor. We're going to start our across the floor progression with some technique so that not only can we do our technique standing in place, but we can have fabulous technique as we're moving through space. The first thing we're going to do are attitudes. Let me demonstrate. You take a step to the front, a step, now here's the hard part. You have to shift to the side. See how that leg shifted? You take a step to the back and the arms stay in a fourth position and then a chane with the very straightest of legs. So all together it looks like this. We're going tummy up, step up, attitude, attitude, and chane. Now this sequence switches sides. So the girls have to know how to do it on the right and the left. It alternates. Here we go, our first group in. Five, six, ready, and step attitude, step attitude, step attitude, and chane. Step attitude, step attitude, see how it switched? Next group in. Step attitude, step attitude, step attitude, and chane. Step attitude. That's a very nice spot. See the spot on the chane? Good job. Bottom leg is straight. Good. Let's go on the left side. We're prepared on the left. Now remember, you've got to keep your tummy up and your back long. Five, six, ready to go. Step attitude. Attitude, next group in, and we're never going to look at the group in front of us because they're on a different side. Keep your eyes up so you have a nice spot. Good. And remember, that bottom leg has to stay straight. Straight. Yes. Good. We'll continue our across the floor with double okays. We've done them center floor. Now we'll take them across the floor in this little combination. We're going to be going step level K, step level K, step, pivot, step, pivot. It looks just like this. Step, double, low, double, low, pivot, pivot. So your pivot is nice and low with the arms in a low V and the double is very uplifted. Here we go for our double K and our pivot. Five, six, ready to go. Step, double, low, double, low, very good. Next group, get ready. Five, six, ready to go. Now notice on those devil pace how we really have to keep our tummy up and our back straight. And devil pace go in out. So you step passe extend, passe extend. We're really looking for that passe and the extension that comes out of it. Lifting the arms up. Good. Left side. Now I want you to really think about your foot at the top of your kick to have a fabulous foot. Ready for devil pace on the left with a beautiful foot on top. Six, ready to go. Step, devil, devil, good. Now pull that tummy in and push your bottom leg into the floor. Step, push the bottom leg into the floor, good. The arms stay lifted with the elbows up. Remember, we don't want the arms to get the hiccups just because your leg goes up. Good, nice strong abs, very nice. The next devil pace that we're going to do, go from side to side. Now this is a little bit more challenging because your bottom leg has to always turn out. We're coming to the back and double pay to the front and double pay. But watch what happens on the third step. You've got to really turn out. So watch. One, two, three. That number three has to be turned out. Double okay. Watch again. One, two, three. Step number three. And then we lift our double okay. And this hand is up here like we're looking in the mirror. Our double okay is side to side. Here we go. Right foot is prepared. Tummy up. Five, six, ready to go. One, two, three. And profile. Look in the mirror of your hand. Nice. The bottom leg goes all the way straight. And we're thinking of our foot, foot, good. Bottom leg stays straight and turns out. 
Nice job, girls. This time we're going to be on the left side. We'll go one, two, three, face the back. One, two, three, face the front. Remember to look up profile. Five, six, ready to go. One, two, three, profile. Pretend like there's a little mirror in your hand and you're looking right up into that mirror. The bottom leg goes all the way straight. The back is lifted. The elbows are up. Nice. Now it's time for Bautmont. By the time we get to Jazz 3, we want to also do our Bautmont in all directions. Remember, a Bautmont is a kick from a straight leg. We're going to be going step Bautmont. Now remember, we have to shift. Step Bautmont. On the back Bautmont, we get to plie and go elongé. Inside, pirouette. Let's talk a minute about pirouettes. Because in Jazz 1 and 2, we worked on pirouettes that go outside. They would be pirouettes. Remember, we went one, two, three, and we pirouette away. This is a pirouette towards the standing leg. So when we pirouette away from our standing leg, it's an outside pirouette, also called en or. When we pirouette towards our standing leg, that would be an inside pirouette or en dedon. So we're doing an inside pirouette. The whole combination looks like this, and it doesn't alternate. We go, step font mont, font mont, elongé, pirouette, and we're ready for the other side. Here we go, dancers ready? Five, six, five, six, ready to go. Step font mont, step font mont, step elongé, and inside, good. Step up, up, elongé, and keep those arms in a nice circle. When we go into our pirouette, we want the arms in a nice circle. Good, it's a pirouette. We're ready to take a look at the left side. Bot monts in directions, tummy tight. Here we go, five, six, ready to go. Step bot mont, step bot mont, step elongé, inside turn. Very nice. Elongé and inside turn. Up, 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 good. We want to always keep our spot, remember. Very nice. We're ready for some turns now. Remember in Jazz 2, we did Chanet turns. Now, one thing that I think really confuses your students, or my students, is we prepare like this, as if this were some position we're going to come back to. We never come back to this position. As soon as we take our first step, we're there. We're right towards the spot where we're going. And we never really come back to here. So we want to be able to practice going pirouette, stop. Oh, I mean chane, stop. So we do a chane, and we stop. So that they know they're going in this direction. We can do it in twos. Chane, chane, stop. So they know they're going this way. And that way, this arm doesn't get lost back here someplace. Now, we've done our chanets across the floor in fifth. We're going to take fifth, fourth, fifth, fourth. Now, teachers, this is where you can really tell if they're going towards their spot. Because the fourth will be towards the spot instead of somewhere out here, right? So we're going fifth, fourth. And then we can really tell that they're spotting their chest and their focus and their head towards where they're going instead of back here somewhere. So we'll be going fifth and fourth, and the arms don't open very much. That's an illusion. Here we go, fifth, fourth, chenet. We're going to prepare here, but we never really come back here again. Five, six, ready to go. Fifth and fourth. Now don't let that back arm linger back there. Fifth and fourth. Five, six, ready to go. Fifth and fourth. And fifth and fourth. Now keep that tummy pressed in. We want to keep the ribs pressed in, the tummy pressed in. Nice spot. And we can check our students to make sure that they are really going forth right here. Not over here someplace. Left side, tummy's in. Five, six, ready to go. Fifth and fourth. Bend both those knees, sir. Yes. Fifth, fourth. Fifth. Now don't let your arms wiggle out there like spaghetti too much. You've got to keep them under control. Elbows lifted. 
Very good. The next step we're going to do is a pas de beret. And if you remember, pas de beret is like ice skating. Back and down, back and down, back and down, back and down. Now we'll take pas de berets across the floor. And in pas de berets, we prepare to the side. Here we go, prepare to the side. Five, six, ready to go. Pas de beret, pas de beret. Nice, nice quarter arms. Next group, five, six, ready to go. Pas de beret. Good, we keep our tummy up. And it's just like ice skating. It should have that very glidey kind of look. Here we go, let's try it on this side. Remember, we prepare to the side. Five, six, five, six, ready to go. Back and down, back and down. Five, six, ready to go. Back and down, good. Gliding out to the front. Nice. Now, pas de berets can also be done with a turn. To do the turn, we're going to do the same quarter bra they did, the quarter arm. One, two, three. But on the turn, we'll just come on ball. Now, we have to make sure we get all three steps in. So watch again. One, two, three. One, two, three. Then, here's the hard part. You've got to pick up that back leg and put it to the back again. So where students get mixed up on pas de and pas de turn is they try to do this. They try to go back and down, back and down, and then take a step to the front. You can't. You have to go back and down, back and down, put it to the back once more. That way everything will be flowing right across the floor. So we have a quarter arm and arms on bar. Here we go. Five, six, ready to go. Back and down, back and down. Back and down. Very nice. Bodies are lifted. Next group, get ready and go. Back and down. Good. Now notice how these girls are spotting. They really get that head around quickly. Let's try it on the other side. Left leg is prepared. Five, six, ready to go. Back and down, back and down. Five, six, ready to go. Chest is lifting, neck is up. Good. Always lifting that tummy, staying very lifted. Now I'm going to show you a little variation on the arm that's kind of nice. It's the same feet. We go back and down, but on the turn, we're going to lean into the side and it kind of swoops. It looks really nice. Watch one more time. Back and down, back and down. And then it starts again. Here we go, girls. Five, six, ready to go. Back and down and swoop. Good. Don't forget to watch your spot, even though you're swooping. Next group, five, six, ready to go. Back and down, back and down. Nice. Good swoop. And notice on the pot of ray how they're getting their legs always straight. Left side, let's make sure we're prepared correctly. Five, six, ready, we're going. Back and down, swoop. Back and down, swoop. Good. Watching our spots. Eyes are up, tummies are up. Very nice. Now, we're going to do a little bit of a variation on a chanet turn. We've done our chanet turns straight across the floor and we've done them with levels. But we're going to do a little turn combination now. It goes like this. Chanet, chanet, I'm so nice and high on my feet. Then I come down into a lunge, parallel turned in. And I walk the other way. It looks like this. Chanet, Shane, stop, walk the other way. Shane, I'm high, I'm low. So now, not only am I high and low, but I'm changing my direction. Here we go. Shane, five, six, ready to go. Shane, Shane, go down, walk the other way. Shane, Shane, swoop down. Next group in. Shane, Shane, swoop down. So, we've got level changes going on. We've got direction changes going on. Stop, walk the other way. Very nice. And we're still so lifted in our tummies, compressing the abs, lifting up in the back of the neck so we're tall. Let's try the left side. Five, six, ready to go. Shane, now come on, spot right here. Good. Sometimes we need to make a little spot for our students. You can also put red dots on the wall. Nice. And 
Nice spot. We got to keep our eyes up. Also in Jazz 3, we should start to work on a turn called a PK turn. Now, in Jazz 3, we get to do a lot of our pirouettes turned in. But a PK turn, no, it's never turned in. We do our passe that we've practiced in our technique. The same thing applies, though. We're going to prepare here, but we never really linger with that arm back there again. We bring it around right away. So, we're always going towards our spot. Let me do it wrong for you. Watch this back arm. If that back arm stays back there, it pulls everything off. We've got to make sure that back arm pulls around. Let's just take, take PK turns all the way across. Prepared here. But remember, you're never coming back to there again. You're going to be toward your spot. Here we go. Five, six PK turns. One, two. And notice how the arms come to a circle. It's that middle fifth place. Five, six, ready to go. We're compressing the abdominals. We're pressing down the shoulders. And every time that foot goes into the floor, it's pushing down. Remember how we learned in Jazz 2 that the deeper the roots go, the taller the tree will grow? So every time we come into our PK, we want to push down into the floor. Otherwise, you might get a little hoppy kind of a look. We don't want any hopping or up going. We want always pushing down into the floor, pushing down into the floor. And that will give the very long look for the leg. Here we go on the left side. We're prepared here, but we're never coming back here again. Our tummy is up, and we're going to push that toe into the floor. Five, six, ready to go. We're going to spot carefully. Good. And arms are up a little bit so that you know they're in middle fifth. Spot here. And of course, in jazz, we always need to practice our pirouettes. In jazz two, we practiced our pirouettes like this. We went one, two, three, knee. One, two, three, knee. But by the time we get to jazz three, we want that to be a cross ball change. You can start practicing like this. Cross, ball, change, knee. Cross, ball, change, knee. And pretty soon, the knee becomes a pirouette. We're going to do single pirouettes across. And the back row is going to do double pirouettes. So the first group will go all singles, and the back group will go one single, one double. Singles and single doubles. We're going to prepare to the side. Five, six, five, six, single pirouette. Cross, ball, change, single. Cross, ball, change, single. Very nice. The next group will do a single, now they'll do a double. One, two, cross, ball, change, single. Here's their double. One, two, nice, girls. Here we go, let's try it on the left. Remember, we're always going to be prepared before we go. Five, six, five, six, ready to go. Cross, ball, change, single. Lift those elbows so that you know your arms are supported. Good, back row does doubles. Good, watching your spot. Cross, ball, change, singles. Very nice. Now, we've learned how to bon -mont, and we've learned how to pirouette. Let's put those two things together. It will look like this. Tummy is up, step bon -mont, step pirouette. Step bon -mont, step pirouette. We have to always remember we're going to releve on our pirouette. We don't want to be dragging that heel around. Also, on our bon -mont, when we come down, we bring this arm in. So we're prepared. Remember we talked about inside and outside pirouette? That would be an outside pirouette. See, I went away from my standing leg. Outside, that's my direction. So step bot mon, step pirouette. Five, six, ready to go. Step bot mon, step pirouette. Step bot mon, prepare pirouette. You see how that arm comes forward so that they have a little preparation. Step bot mon, step pirouette. Step bot mon, we wanna lift the elbows. We don't wanna be caught with our elbows hanging down. Good, nice spot. Step bump, mop, good. Remember we talked about this on double okay, the foot? The foot at the height of your bump, mop really needs to be beautifully displayed up there in the air, that gorgeous foot. 
here we go. Five, six, ready to go. Step pop, mop, prepare, pirouette. Step pop, mop, keep those elbows lifted. Step pop, mop. Good, now you don't want to ever sink when you kick. You have to actually try to get a little bit taller when you kick because your body might want to sink. Good. The next type of bot mom we're doing is a chasse bot mom layout. This is just a little combination. It goes chasse, straight on, bot mom, but on the layout, everything twists and your back shoulder comes in. So it looks like this. Tummy is up. Chasse, bot mom layout. Chasse, bot mom layout. Did you see how that twisted in? Here come the girls. They're going to chasse, bot mom layout. Five, six, ready to go. Chasse, bot mom layout. Good. Nice, girls. Five, six, ready to go. Chasse, bot mom layout. Good. And everything kind of twists when you get to the layout. And you can take your head back. It looks really nice. Let's try the left side. Remember, we're going to prepare. Tummy up. Five, six, ready to go. Chasse, bot mop. Now twist the shoulders. One shoulder has to kind of come in. Remember that foot. It's got to be so beautifully displayed on the top. And we never, ever sink when we kick. There's another kick we're going to do. It's a fan kick. We've practiced these in jazz, too. Now we're going to do them with a chasse. Let me break it down slowly. We take chasse. As this foot comes around, this arm comes around. So they both go down at the same time. Then as this leg bands, that arm comes up and around. So it looks like this. Chasse, step, fan. Here we go. Five, six, ready to go. Chasse, step, fan. Now on the fan, we've got to really press our shoulder down and pull our tummy up. Chasse, step, fan. Good. Bottom leg has to straighten. Nice. On the left, it will look like this. Chasse, step, fan. Remember, we want to keep our chest up. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. One. We're going to look up. And later on, we can add a little layout. Nice. Remember that foot, we're presenting a beautiful foot. It's time to go on to some jumps. We're going to go up to saute. Now we practice saute arabesque in jazz too. We're going to do saute arabesque again, but we're going to add a pirouette. Now because the saute arabesque needs a little bit faster tempo, I pitched the music up to be a little bit faster. It's going to look like this. Saute, step pirouette. Saute, step pirouette. So we go to saute arabesque, we want to make sure when we leave the floor that our foot points every time, that bottom foot. Here we go. We're going to go saute, prepare if you're wet. We're prepared. Five, six, ready to go. Up saute, pirouette. Bottom foot is always pointing. Shoulders are down. Remember when you pirouette, you push into the floor. Good. Next group comes in. Now look at the nice long back leg on these girls. They're pulling that back leg out so nicely on their saute arabesque. The back leg really has to have a very nice stretched pull on it. Let's try the left side. You'll be going saute, prepare, pirouette. Here we go. Five, six, ready to go. Step up, step pirouette. Step up, good. Now see how nicely both legs are straightening during the saute arabesque? And both feet are pointing during the saute arabesque? That's wonderful, that looks fabulous. The next jump we're going to do is a chasse and a double back attitude. Let me show you how you get into it. You chasse, you take a step so that you're facing directly where you just came from. Arms go to a V and you will jump into a double attitude. Okay, girls, chasse, back attitude. Five, six, ready to go. Chasse, step attitude, nice. We're stretching those fingers up, and we try to get that bottom foot up as much as we can. Chasse. Now we want to remember always to have our shoulders down, because sometimes 
When we jump, it's easy to let those shoulders ride up, but it ruins the whole look of the jump. So let's remember, long neck, shoulders down. Five, six, five, six, ready to go. Chasse, that bottom foot. Let's try to really flick it way up. Nice. And we're turning out. Left side, five, six, ready to go. Chasse, step attitude, five, six, ready, next group. Chasse, step attitude, good. Tummy is up and shoulders are long. In jazz two, we did leaps. We're going to do them again because we do leaps in every class. We're just going to go step, leap, step, leap, all the way across. But I want you to know, we're doing a bon mal leap or a jeté with the legs straight. If we were to bend it and pull it out, it would be a développé or a soda shot. And we're not going to do that. We're going step bon mal. So our front leg does a bon mal, our back leg does a bon mal. Here we go. It just goes like this. Step, leap, step, leap. Five, six, ready to go. Step, leap, leap. Pulling that front toe long. Very nice. Next group. Five, six, ready? You gotta pull that front toe long like you're doing a bon mal in the front and the back. Nice. Now you notice we're going to a quarter arm with the tummy up, nice lifted neck. Five, six, pull that tummy in. Five, six, ready to go. Step, pull that foot, foot. Nice, next group in, step, brush. The very last type of leap we're going to do is called a stag leap. A stag leap, you take a step and knee, and your arms go to that same V without your shoulders coming up. Step, knee, step, knee. It looks like this. Step, stag, step, stag. Okay, here we go, girls. Five, six, ready to go. Step, stag, stag. Back foot has to point. Good, next group in. Five, six, ready to go. Step. Now, it's really easy to forget to point that back foot. These girls are doing an excellent job of remembering their back foot. Here we go. Five, six, ready to go. Step, stag. Very nice. Five, six. Excellent. We've completed our cross the floor progression and we're ready to learn the combination. I'm going to show you the Jazz 3 combination from a little bit different direction. I'm going to be facing the mirror and I'm going to have my back to you and that way it will be so much easier for you to learn. The Jazz 3 combo starts facing the back so you've got to turn away from your TV and face to the back. Just look over your shoulder because we'll be facing front in just a moment. So we're facing the back. We have one, two, three, Four. Just the arm and leg come out on four. You're going to pinwheel over starting with your right hand. Five, six, seven, eight. From here we're doing contractions. One, two, open your legs. Three, four, close your legs. Five, six, seven, eight. So we've got contractions, legs, and arms all going at the same time. From there, you prepare to the back on one, two. Sauté to the front. Three, four. You're all the way to the ground, five, six, up seven, eight. So let's review that much. We're facing the back. One, two, three, four. Over the top, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Legs together, legs apart. One, two, saute three, four, down five, six, seven, pop up on eight and clap. From here, we're going to chug and move over two times and the arms go two. One, two, lay out three. Head four, we're going to turn to the back of the room. Five, six, walk back, seven, eight. Now we've done this next move in every single video, jazz one, jazz two, and jazz three. It's a star. One, two, three, four. But this time, instead of a body wave, we're going to turn in that right knee. Five, six, seven, eight. Eight, and we have the développé on eight. From there, just turn to the diagonal. One, two, legs three, four, 
pop up five, six, then you jump and go in, in, out. In, in, out. So in this jazz three combo, you can see we're going to be using a lot of the vocabulary that we've already learned, but we're doing a lot of level changes and direction changes. So let's take it from the top, and then we'll go on a little bit more. We start to the back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pop up. One, two, lay out three, head four, five, six, to the back for a star. Two, three, four, five, six, up seven, eight, one, two. This is diagonal. Three, four, five, six, in, in, out. From there, we reach our hand out. One, head two, and then we're going to turn to the corner. Three, four, head to this corner. Five, six, arabesque, seven, eight. It's just a tone to arabesque, but we want to make sure we're facing this corner. Slide and turn. One, two, three, four. That was a chasse and a chane. Here comes our body wave. Five, six, seven, eight, up one, two. Let's just mark that last part. Let's say we're going from the star. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, to the diag. Three, four, five, six, in, in, out, hand one, head two, three, four, walk to the back diag. One, two, three, four, body wave. And up. You're up. This is five, six, seven, eight, one, two. Now this next step is new for Jazz 3. It's called a hitch kick. And what we're going to do is replace this foot with this foot. So when I'm teaching the kids, I go, see where that foot is? Just pop that foot right onto it. At the same time, turn around. And at the same time, reach your hands in your other leg. And that would be a hitch. So we just came up. Here we go for our hitch kick. This was uh, five, six, seven, eight, up, one, two, three, four, step. This goes pigeon toed. That's a just little turned in jazz line. Hug yourself, head. So let's do it from the five, six over here, the body wave. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, hitch, four, five, turn in, seven, eight. From here, we're just going to jump around, two little jumps, one, two. And I just have the girls put their hands back here for a little something different. So they were here, hug, head. One, two. Now you know this next step, it's a double ope. Three, four, five, tuck on six. Now the next thing we're going to do is a jump, something we haven't seen before, also new for Jazz 3. This is called a jackknife. Um, it's a little jump in the air that jackknifes. And remember when we warm up, how we go to this position for jackknife? Well, that's the position we're trying to reach, but we're jumping at the same time. So we've done our double lope and come down. Now the jackknife, instead of having the arms here, is going to have the arms back. So it just looks like this. So you just jump up, whip those arms, contract in the middle, and lift the legs. <laughs> Easier said than done. It's a little bit difficult of a jump, but the kids really like doing it. So here we had our big double all the way down, jack knife. From here, we step, passe, step, bop ma. So we have step, passe, step, bop ma, and walk, walk, walk twist. Now we're facing this direction. Now remember in Jazz 2 we did kickball changes just like this and we did them with a bow and arrow arm. Well kickball changes come next and if you want to you can still do that bow and arrow arm or a variation of it would be a loop. I'll loop it and my demonstrator and the dancers will do bow and arrow so you can see both ways. So we just turned around and we're ready for kickball change. I'm going to do the loop. One and two, three and four, chasse, step, leap. We already know how to do this too. Chasse, step, leap. Walk around, three, up on four. You body wave down, five, six, seven, pop your head up on eight. This next step, we've already done it in jazz two. We've been practicing it. It's a seated roll. One, two, three, 
four, shimmy up, five, six, seven, up on count number eight. The next steps we're going to do, we've also done across the floor, conveniently. We go, sha, se, step, double attitude, sha, se, step, fan. And we've done those across the floor, so the kids already know how to do them. So we were here on eight, you come around, sha, se, step, double attitude, sha, se, step, fan. But the fan takes you all the way over. Now I want you to watch my back foot on the fan. On the chasse fan, you lay out slightly and then look at my back foot. It's got to turn in like this on your way down. So let's look at that again. Let's say we were just going to come up from that seated roll. We're coming up and five and six and seven, eight. Sha se step double attitude sha se step it's a fan down two pop up three four we're going to just come right through our plie and we'll have a double attitude in this direction so we were down after our fan we pop up plie pop through and pivot around so let's just look at that again let's say we came up off the floor five and six and seven Eight. One, two, three, up, four, five, six, seven. There's your fan. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now, from here, here's a step we still all remember. It's a pump turn. One and two and three and four. We did it in jazz two and now here it is in jazz three. Then I call this Batman. It's just a cute little name and the kids know what it is. Across your eyes, across your eyes. So I pumped around. One, two, three, four. Batman, five, six, up, seven. Again, we're down on the count number eight. Now I'm going to do this next uh, part of getting up a little bit in slow motion so that you can see what happens. You're rising on count one, and then you jump, and by count two, this leg has come out, and actually, we do it a little bit parallel, like a jazz parallel line instead of a turned out line. So we were down here on eight. It goes one, two, step around three. This is just like ice skating. Four, five. So you've got to really be skating on that count number four. Let's try it again. We were down here. One, two, three, four, five, walk six, walk seven, eight. It is a gigantic plie with your arms in second. From here, we're going to do the pas de bray and pas de bray turn. We practice across the floor. Pas de bray, pas de bray turn. Just go into a passe and your hands jut over to the side like this. Passe, cross in front, undo yourself. And that layout is the end of the compo. So let's just go back a little bit and we'll review that much. Let's say we were here on the get up. Five and six and seven. We were up here on eight. We're going one, two, three, up, four, five, six, seven, fan. One, two, up, three, four, five, six, seven, pump, turn. One and two, here comes the Batman. Five, six, seven, and eight, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One and two, three and four, five, six, seven, eight. And now we'll watch my demonstrator, Mickey, as she dances that for us. This is my student, Mickey, and she is 12 years old, been dancing for about seven years now. Mickey is going to be demonstrating the Jazz 3 combo for us. And of course, we'd like you to take a look at our beautiful costumes that are provided by Curtain Call. <laughs> 